you look at how they're reining in departmental spending, they're essentially doing it with temporary measures. You know, they're temporarily not opening long-term care beds, and the wait list for long-term care gets longer. They're temporarily not doing social housing projects, while the, the, the wait lists for affordable housing grow in this province. They're temporarily not filling uh, vacancies. On the economic development front, this is really, we need to grow our economy. And what they've done is they've chased one of the most productive parts of our economy uh, out of the province with the attack on the film tax credit. And we know that last year the expenditure was $30 million in the film tax credit. This year we're looking at $10 million. That's a reduction in economic activity in the province that will damage the bottom line. What's your assessment of the actual savings for the health merger? And you see the way that they budgeted it. You know, there will be savings in the health care budget when you do innovative things around patient care on the front line. There will not be savings in the health care budget by the kinds of nickeling and diming that's going on at um, the DHA level. All that results in is chaos and paralysis for patient care and the health care system.